delicate weather greets the season's last classic, the St. Ledger, Britain's oldest and richest race. The sweltering thousands pack Doncaster's turf moor. The crowd's big talking point is how America's Johnny Longdon would do in this, his first big race in England. For the first time for many years, the Derby winner is not in the Ledger field. And not even race-goer number one, the Aga Khan, quite knows what to make of it. Champion jockey Gordon Richards, several times a Ledger winner, again carries much of the public's money, but any one of the 16 entries can scoop the prize. With Royal Forest out of it, Gordon is up on Krakatoa, while his American opposite number, Johnny Longdon, mounts Mont Chatelaine. Note his typical American style with short stirrup. <laughs> on a mile and three-quarter race for the season's biggest prize. Royal Empire, Masidora and Lone Eagle head the field as they race out into the country. The Princess Royal closely follows the race's progress as the field passes the three-quarter mile post. Royal Empire still leads. Lone Eagle is pressing hard with Marve the second and Masidora well placed. Rounding the bend, it's still Royal Empire in the lead, but only just. Lone Eagle number 15 is making up ground and slowly jockey Bill Carr forges his mount ahead. Lone Eagle now makes the running, but with only a furlong to go, the lead changes again. Ridgewood pushes ahead and jockey Michael Beery races away from the field to rob home winner by three lengths. <laughs> Dust Devil, the Aga Khan's choice, is second. Ridgewood's success is a triumph for that veteran among jockeys, Michael Beery. He keeps his age a secret, but the knowing ones say that he is half a century older than his mount. Only one bookie is complaining. With the winning odds 100 to 7, the joke is on the punters once again. Mm -hmm.